Hello, soul family. Welcome to Spiritual Manifestation. If you're new here, welcome to our channel. And if you're already part of our loving community, welcome back. Today, I'm tuning into the energy of a divine feminine who is experiencing a significant reintroduction process. This feminine energy has gone through a profound mental clearing, like a mist lifting to reveal a clearer path. Reflecting on your journey, you might notice that much of your frustration originated from your mental processes, how you perceive your reality, narrate your life story, and the inner or limiting beliefs you held about yourself, others, and the situations you encountered. For some, this has stirred up intense emotions, like waves crashing on the shore. You may have questioned the validity of your journey, wondering where exactly you stand. Perhaps you've asked for signs from the divine, only to feel that your requests went unheard, or that manifestations didn't materialize in a way that truly served you. You might have felt as though your manifestations didn't come to fruition as expected. Okay, so this is interesting. The past energy you were clinging to was tied to a timeline you've now outgrown, like shedding an old skin. You're stepping into or have already entered a sacred dialogue with the universe, understanding that signs, synchronicities, and miracles appear to those who genuinely believe in their reality and possibility. Some of you are radiating such intense inner light and magnetism that it's manifesting in your external world. You might notice that people around you respond differently, perhaps with more admiration or curiosity. Your aura is glowing and magnetic, attracting new and exciting experiences into your life. As I'm sure many of you know, with the powerful energies of the Jupiter transit and the Leo season upon us, your energy is being profoundly influenced. This period is not only amplifying your natural magnetism, but also aligning you with fortunate and expansive opportunities. Embrace this moment, Divine Feminine, as the universe is conspiring in your favor bringing blessings and abundance your way. This is a divine feminine who is extremely advanced, embodying a powerful cerebral energy. You are deeply aware of your ability to use your mind to create your physical reality. Despite occasional moments of doubt, you understand that no one is exempt from life's ebbs and flows. Your incredible mental strength propels you forward at an astonishing pace. I'm hearing that you're at a point in your journey where your glow up is intensely personal. It's as if the universe itself is communicating with you, guiding you to comprehend your energy as the sacred feminine. You are beginning to understand that you are not just in the universe, you are the universe. Every fiber of your being is interconnected in this divine way and this realization is empowering you like never before. I feel like the energy of July is gearing you up for a massive transformation, divine feminine. This expansive, positive energy is setting the stage for you to become unrecognizable. Your entire presence will exude radiant abundance and beauty captivating everyone you meet and lighting up every room you enter. Your beauty and power will be palpable. This is incredibly powerful energy. You've been on this journey and know your strength, but it's crucial to stay on top of your mental state. Protecting your peace is vital and maintaining a positive mindset is essential. Yes, this message comes through very clearly. Yeah, I'm definitely getting themes on glowing up and disappearing. This might resonate with you, as there are times when it seems like you just drop off the face of the earth. 
you have a tendency to disconnect from your physical 3D self, stepping away from your outward identity to delve deep within. This allows you to get clear on who you want to become and what energy you want to embody. During these times, you are like a butterfly in its chrysalis, undergoing a profound metamorphosis. Whether you're doing this consciously or subconsciously, it's like you're a shapeshifter, a chameleon who moves in silence. To others, you might seem invisible for a while, but during that time, you're transforming from the inside out. You're absorbing new energies, integrating new lessons, and aligning more closely with your true self. Then, you re-emerge into reality almost unrecognizable. Your energy, emotional state, and sometimes even your personality or appearance have shifted profoundly. Okay, I'm also getting the word high herb sensitive here. So you may be a feminine energy who is hypersensitive, especially to other people, to other energies, and to your environment. Maybe you are aware of this, maybe you are not. There are things you might need to do to maintain your vibration and enhance your space. Perhaps you need to add a touch of beauty everywhere you go or incorporate some plants into your area. Your energy thrives on these small yet significant adjustments. This may be different for every person. We all have unique things that make us look and feel amazing. You're being guided to tap into yourself and create an external reality that reflects your internal world. Surround yourself with elements that uplift your spirit and resonate with your inner energy. At this stage of your life, your magnetism is absolutely growing. When you step into the new season, you will be a totally different person your life will look completely different. For many of you, this shift is attracting permanent situations into your reality. These will not be fleeting. They will be lasting connections, stable positions, and enduring opportunities. I'm hearing that this transformation is happening because you have shifted your mindset from a place of lack to a place of abundance. For many of you, this has been your source of frustration and challenge. You might not even realize that you've been stuck in the same energy loop since you were younger. It's been about your perception of life, the narratives you tell yourself about your journey, love, money, and abundance. However, now you're stepping into a new energy where you know with every fiber of your being that you deserve everything the universe has to offer. This is an incredibly powerful shift for you. Some of you have had old habits that would resurface unexpectedly, making you feel like you were taking three steps forward and then four steps back. But that energy is no longer holding you. You are breaking massive cycles that have kept you captive for a long time. And these barriers are now easily falling away. You seem to have discovered a sort of recipe for success that has become embedded in your subconscious. Whatever you're doing, Divine Feminine, continue to do it because it's changing you from the inside out. You are building so much momentum internally. Remember, everything in the physical realm first manifests spiritually. You need to build up that energy and momentum in the spiritual realm no matter what things look like around you. Because you are an incredibly powerful, radiant vessel, the world is in dire need of your energy. For some of you, this transformation is shifting you from a state of isolation. Perhaps you felt like you had to face challenges alone, delving deep into your personal healing journey. This introspective work is now paying off in ways you could never have imagined. This message from your spiritual guides serves as a sacred reminder 
that you are exactly where you're meant to be. Your hard work is not going unnoticed. You are evolving for a purpose, and every experience on your path has been guided by your spiritual team, your guides, and the Creator. They are walking you back to yourself, helping you to shed the heaviness and the aspects of yourself that do not truly define who you are and why you were created. As you navigate through the opportunities and challenges coming your way, you are being placed on a powerful timeline where things will move very rapidly for you. With your heightened energy and spiritual awareness, you now possess a spiritual authority where the divine is intimately close to you. You will clearly recognize the blessings meant for you, understanding that they are coming directly from the universe. Many of you are about to experience divine love entering your life, bringing profound joy and fulfillment. You are reintroducing yourself. For some of you, this means rediscovering who you are because you have changed in the most beautiful ways. You are not the same person you once were, and these changes have manifested wonderfully. If you find yourself questioning whether these things will happen for you, or if this message is meant for you, know that every vision you hold in your mind is absolutely for you. When the universe gives you a vision, it is meant to be yours. Often, it won't resemble what others are experiencing, and you can't always seek validation from others for what has been uniquely given to you. There are steps you may need to follow to become the person who can activate and align with the vision that the universe has given you. This feminine energy I'm tapping into wherever you are on your journey you are either on the path to this powerful timeline or already there. Regardless of what your external world looks like, your ability to hold and maintain your energy and keep your vibration high is key. Wow, this has been a really powerful reading so far. Now it's so funny, I just realized that I haven't even pulled any new cards yet, so I'm going to shuffle my tarot deck right now and draw some cards out. Okay, so I pulled two cards, and surprisingly, I'm sensing a strong divine masculine energy. These cards were just at the bottom of the deck and really caught my attention, which I know is no coincidence. There are definite messages here. As soon as I saw these cards, I felt they represented the collective divine feminine and the collective divine masculine. Remember, we all have a balance of these energies within us. So when I channel for one or the other, it could be reflecting your internal divine masculine or divine feminine. However, these energies can also connect with external people, relationships, dynamics, and environments. In these two cards, we're seeing the representation of both the divine feminine and divine masculine at this time. Okay, so the Divine Feminine is coming up is the star. And in this card, I see beautiful, free-flowing energy. Someone who is not afraid to be untethered. This energy is about using tools, whether they are creative outlets, meditation, or daily rituals, to expand energetically, raise vibration, and align with higher timelines. The Divine Feminine here is looking towards the light, symbolizing a new beginning that she is creating and beginning to embody energetically. You are dropping the past and leaving it behind. It's like you've undergone a mini ego death recently, releasing certain facets of your previous self and creating space for this new version of yourself to emerge. Now, with the Divine Masculine, I see him represented by the Hermit. This energy is almost the opposite of the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, you might have gone through a period of intense self-awareness, absorbing spiritual material through books and other mediums. 
You have been actively working to identify your traumas and self-limiting patterns, constantly pushing yourself to grow and improve. This divine masculine energy, on the other hand, feels a sense of divine discontent, pushing him inward to reflect and grow in a different way. Okay. What else can I channel about this divine masculine? I see the masculine energy who for a long time has been resisting or distracting himself from deep introspection. And I just saw the number 777. This might be significant to someone. The masculine is now facing all of this and it's hitting him like a ton of bricks. This process is meant to be felt deeply to break down his old self. He is experiencing a major ego death, similar to what you, Divine Feminine, went through months or even years ago. It's your rising, expanding energy that is pushing the Divine Masculine into this profound journey of self-analysis and self-evaluation. I hear a masculine voice questioning, am I living the life I truly desire? Am I where I want to be? It's almost as if a spiritual awakening is happening within him. His apathy is turning into deep discontentment. For a while, the masculine might have been living on the surface, using distractions to avoid self-reflection, appearing apathetic. There was a lack of emotional awareness that seemed like apathy. But now this apathy is transforming into a conscious discontentment, motivating him to make changes that will lead to greater happiness. On the other hand, you, Divine Feminine, are being pushed out of your head. You've already gone through deep self-analysis and self-evaluation. Now you're starting to feel a restless push to move beyond those long trails of thought in your mind. This is a very opposite energy, but it's all part of the balance between the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine energies. And I'm unreal with an immense amount of growth because in the past, Divine Feminine, when someone exhibited this kind of behavior, it may have triggered your chasing energy. You wanted to figure out why. They weren't giving you the love or care you deserved and you sought explanations for their behaviors. But now the immense growth you've undergone is evident in how these behaviors no longer trigger you in the same way. I'm hearing you no longer find these behaviors attractive or triggering. Instead, you disregard red flags with apathy and disinterest. If someone exhibits behavior that shows they aren't capable of showing up for you, supporting you, or caring for you in the ways you now know you deserve, it no longer affects you the same way. This knowing isn't just surface level. It's a deep, solid, subconscious understanding of your worth and value. Because of this solid core of self-worth, your automatic responses to other people's behaviors and interactions have shifted. You now respond from a place of inner strength and self-assuredness, no longer getting pulled into old patterns of chasing or seeking validation. This growth is a testament to your journey and the powerful energy you embody. Now, the next card that comes through here is the hanged man in the upright position. What really catches my attention on this card is the imagery of suspension, which brings to mind the concept of timeline shifting. The message coming through with this card is that divine feminine, you are now operating outside the confines of time. When I say this, I mean you are becoming a timeless being. In reality, at a soul level, you have always been this timeless entity. Time doesn't exist on an energetic level. So from an energetic perspective, 
you have always been operating outside of time. However, most people are deeply tied into the concept of linear time due to societal programming around timing, aging, and progressing through Earth years. There is a heavy burden associated with the concept of time, and many are restricted by it. You, on the other hand, have freed yourself from these constraints. This liberation allows you to navigate life with a sense of timelessness, unburdened by the limitations that others often face. Regardless, you never allow past versions of yourself to define who you are, recognizing that each moment offers a pristine slate to create vibrationally. You understand deeply that what you manifest vibrationally will eventually take shape in your physical life. This awareness goes beyond a surface level understanding. It resonates at the core of your being. Through your spiritual awakening and growth, you've embraced this profound knowing. Your spiritual practices have solidified this understanding, whatever they might be. These rituals are not mere routines, but sacred practices that anchor your awareness and elevate your vibration. Your alone time is especially crucial and profoundly beneficial. It is during these quiet moments that you receive a flood of unconscious downloads. While some insights come to you consciously, most are subtle, integrating quietly into your subconscious. Imagine your alone time as an energetic cocoon where you emotionally and vibrationally open up space for these insights to embed themselves deeply. This is why, when deprived of solitude, you can feel drained and out of sync. These solitary moments are when your most powerful shifts and transformations occur, making your alone time an essential part of your spiritual journey. You have likely navigated an extensive period of solitude akin to a hermit phase. This time has been a sanctuary for profound inner work and self-discovery. Now you feel a compelling push to re-emerge into the world, to reintroduce yourself with all the wisdom and strength you've gained. This cycle of solitude has reached completion and you are ready to step back into the world, radiating a renewed and vibrant sense of self. Now, with the Tower card in the upright position, I'm getting a strong message for a Divine Feminine listening here. You might have felt a lot of heavy energy recently, particularly this past week. Even though it's early in the week, this energy could have been weighing on you since last weekend, continuing into the start or middle of this week. You might still be feeling it, depending on when this energy hit you. For whoever this message is for, it's almost felt like a period of stagnancy, like being stuck in a rut. You might have even physically felt unable to get out of bed or move, feeling very heavy and off kilter. This message from my guides indicates that if you felt this way, particularly if you've experienced a sudden shift into feeling lighter, or if you're still in the heavy energy and will experience this shift soon, it's significant. This sudden shift into lightness happens because whenever you majorly uplevel yourself vibrationally and energetically, you will feel a heaviness just before the full-blown timeline shift. It's as if you are in flux. My guides compared it to experiencing jet lag during travel. When you fly from one place to another, you take a huge leap physically. Hundreds of years ago, such a journey would have taken months. But now, with airplanes, it takes only a short period. Despite the efficiency, there's still a sense of tiredness and stagnancy from the travel. Spiritually and energetically, you're doing something similar. Your ability to take these quantum leaps in life is like that airplane journey. You are collapsing time here, and the temporary heaviness is a natural part of this profound transformation. 
Now, again, I'm getting that there has been a major transformation within you that, like we mentioned previously, that is making you unrecognizable, but in the best possible way. This change is causing a profound glow up emotionally and vibrationally. For many of you, this transformation may even reflect physically, altering your appearance in a way that others find highly magnetic and surprising as it seems to come out of nowhere. It's as if you've energetically traveled to a new dimension or timeline, making others feel like you've suddenly popped into their reality or consciousness. Okay. What else can I channel for the Divine Feminines listening here? A profound spiritual growth has occurred within you, symbolized by the Empress card in the upright position. This growth is creating a significant shift within the Divine Masculine Collective, represented by the reversed Emperor card. As you continue to expand Divine Feminine, you are energetically calling forth the awakened Divine Masculine. This can be understood both broadly and personally. Perhaps there is a Divine Masculine in your life or from your past who seemed unhealed or unawakened. For many of you, your self-care and self-growth are not only transforming you, but also prompting an awakening within this masculine energy. This transformation applies collectively or individually, and these shifts will begin to manifest in real, tangible ways. This energy is being specifically reflected in the masculine influence we discussed earlier. In our previous reading, we talked about a masculine figure who is deeply strategizing and planning towards you, Divine Feminine. This masculine is being called forth by the profound energetic shifts you've made within yourself. This is a bit of a hidden message, but for someone I'm channeling here, there may be one particular masculine or divine masculine. This could be someone from your past, someone in your present, or someone you've been sensing energetically who has yet to enter your life. This dominant energy might be someone you have a deep soul desire to connect with or reunite with physically. This message won't resonate with everyone, but if it does, know that your energetic transformations are calling this masculine into his own growth and expansion, into his heart space. As you continue to make these shifts, you might find yourself synchronistically connecting with other masculine energies. This is a sign from the universe that your awakening is energetically influencing this dominant masculine who seems to follow you through every timeline. For some of you, this may be someone you've always felt deeply connected to, someone you desire a physical reunion with. When you call forth that masculine energy, you might notice exes or people from your past other masculine energies reaching out to reconnect. You may also encounter new romantic opportunities in your current life. For instance, you might run into a masculine at the grocery store you haven't seen in a long time, or have a brief but meaningful interaction with a warm and kind masculine stranger. These encounters, though fleeting, are powerful synchronicities. These synchronicities are signs from the universe, showing you how your shift into a receptive yet powerful feminine energy is awakening and transforming the masculine collective. This includes the specific dominant masculine you've been connected to in the past, present, or future. The key here is to not get too attached to any one particular person synchronicity, or sign. Trust that these encounters are part of the larger energetic shifts taking place, guiding you towards a deeper connection and alignment with your true self and the divine masculine. If this masculine happens to be involved in another relationship or connection, 
I sense a deep emotional disconnect and apathy within them. It feels like they know this is something they will eventually leave behind once they are more healed, balanced, and ready to come towards you. Right now, there's a noticeable lack of emotional engagement. No other feminine seems to capture their interest the way you do, divine feminine, because of the immense value they place on you. When they speak about you to others, their emotions and expressions reveal everything. People might even remark that they've elevated you on a pedestal. This person has genuinely placed you in a high regard in their mind. With the deceit card reversed, it indicates their desire to be truthful, not necessarily to admit any wrongdoing, but to express their real feelings. They've been concealing their emotions, but spirit suggests they haven't been very successful at it. This person believes you, divine feminine, are unaware of their true feelings. Even if you sometimes doubt or wonder consciously, your soul and heart know exactly how this person feels about you. You've been receiving these feelings telepathically and energetically all along. When you connect with your deeper intuition, you already grasp their true emotions. From their human perspective, they feel compelled to share a heartfelt confession about how they genuinely feel about you. I noticed the number 333, which soul may or may not mean something to the divine feminine watching. They are feeling a strong compulsion to be honest about their emotions and to openly share their true feelings with you. This is a transformative period for both of you and their confession will mark a significant step forward in your connection. Trust your intuition, divine feminine, and know that the universe is orchestrating everything perfectly for your highest good. What does this person want to say, do, or communicate? I see here with the Seven of Wands and the King of Cups. With the Seven of Wands, it's almost like this person is saying, I've been battling my feelings and now I must surrender to this love. They've been fighting their own emotions, trying to let go of this connection or forget about it. But the love they have for you has overpowered their resistance. The King of Cups represents a deep emotional clarity that's emerging, flowing through the heart chakra and bringing a profound understanding to the masculine's conscious mind. This breakthrough is starting to manifest in the physical world, showing tangible signs of his emotional awakening. Additionally, with the Eight of Pentacles reversed, the masculine may be breaking free from some kind of situation, karmic pattern, or relationship. They are taking control of their life, escaping from old cycles, and moving towards a new beginning that aligns with their true feelings for you. What does this person want to say, do, or communicate? With the Seven of Cups, it's as if this person is saying, I've been overwhelmed by the depth of my love for you. My attempts at self-sabotage, my efforts to let go of this connection have been overpowered by my overwhelming feelings for you. The Ace of Wands brings a powerful clarity. This clarity is emerging from the heart chakra, flowing from the masculine's heart to his conscious mind, resulting in a significant breakthrough that is starting to manifest in the physical world. With the Nine of Pentacles reversed, the masculine is breaking free from a restrictive situation, karmic pattern, or relationship. He is taking charge of his life, escaping old cycles, and moving towards a new beginning that aligns with his true feelings for you. Okay, and now I'm getting the sense that for whoever I'm speaking to, 
There may have been a timeline where you and this person got married and ended up together. Maybe this didn't manifest in the physical world, but it feels so real that it gives me chills. There is definitely a deep soul connection here. You and this person have shared at least one past life together. I'll see if more information comes up about that, but the emotional energy coming through is intense. This person is feeling a lot towards you and I sense them conveying that. There exists a timeline where you and this person are fully together. As I say this, I feel emotional because when you met and connected with this person in the past, whether in childhood, high school, or early adulthood, you shared a profound bond. You set yourselves on a potential timeline where you ended up getting married, having children, and creating a family together. However, for most of you, this didn't happen in this physical reality. Somehow there was a divergence, a splitting of timelines. I sense they have been deeply contemplating this lately. It's as if both of you can feel a pull towards that timeline where you are together and it's still unfolding in some way. Currently, they are represented by the Four of Cups, feeling apathetic and dissatisfied. I hear them saying, I don't like this timeline. They are very unhappy with the path that has diverged and are longing to realign with the timeline where you are united. The temperance card in the upright position signifies a potential renewal. I sense that this person's soul has been fragmented. Throughout this life, they may have spent periods out of sync with their true self. It's as though their soul has been going through a process of reassembly, being pieced back together and healed. There's been a profound inner healing occurring within them, almost like a spiritual purification. Wow. Okay, I think this is a good place to close off today's reading. Today's reading has been quite interesting with a mix of different messages and dynamics. As I always mention, please take only what resonates with you personally and intuitively. I'm sending everyone so much love and joy today, wishing you a truly beautiful day and a wonderful rest of your week.